Central Visual and Performing Arts High School students and teachers return to remote learning today. It's the first time since the tragic shooting three weeks ago that killed a teacher and a student. Our Laura Barczewski joins us in studio with the changes the school community would like to see before returning to the building. Laura. Mike, the president of the American Federation of Teachers Union says there are a couple of things they think will help this community get back on its feet. I also talked with a CVPA teacher about what they need and she says they really need to be together again. There is a lot of trauma still and there's not a lot of good answers yet. American Federation of Teachers President Randy Weingarten says she spent the day listening to Central VPA and collegiate teachers, families, and elected officials close to the tragic school shooting to come up with short-term and long-term solutions. Long-term, there needs to be changes in the law. Red flag laws really work, and they would have worked here. And what are some steps that the union can take that, you know, you can do now? Well, one of the things we can do is get more guidance counselors into both of these schools immediately and have that commitment through the end of the year. A second thing we can do is make sure that the changes, the safety changes that need to happen, including having security, including having, you know, changes to the doors and the windows and things like that happen as quickly as possible. Both Central VPA and Collegiate are learning virtually. Central teacher Ashley Meredith says it was good to be with students again, even just online. It was really encouraging to see my students today. Um, I mean, most of them did put their cameras on, but um, in every single class that I had today, we had so much participation. Meredith says as a performance-based school, virtual instruction isn't going to work for very long, but staff and students have mixed feelings. I think that we need to be together. I think that we need a space where we can have students performing, there needs to be something that they can work towards, something that they can showcase. They need to be able to process in the way that they process. She says the whole school community really misses teacher Jean Kuchka and student Alexandria Bell. I think that we do them justice by continuing on and I trust that we will heal as we do and that we are going to get better. Meredith says the best Christmas gift for her would be returning to class in person before holiday break even begins, even if it means an alternative location, which they're still working on as the school building is still undergoing repairs. Mike. And tomorrow, two St. Louis McDonald's restaurants will host a fundraiser for those impacted by last month's shooting. It will run tomorrow night from 4 until 8 at the McDonald's on South Kings Highway in the Bevo neighborhood. The other location is in North City on Natural Bridge near Kings Highway.